Hello everybody, we've got a good video for you today, oh you're going to like this one. Right, before we kick off this video, I look like Clive Dunn a little bit, don't I? Right, before we kick off, and Angelica, my spirit guide, is wanting me to do some angel card reading. She said he's not going to be doing his teaching or learning how to be a psychic today, something different. So, right, the card readings I've got for you today... Is that one? Can anybody see it? Yeah, there it is. And what that says is, let's have a look what it says. Everything is already healed. Expect in the dream of illness. Let the illusion go in exchange for peace. So anybody out there can take that one? Right, our second one. Our second one. Let's see what we've got. Not getting that, and what that says is your light can never be extinguished. Your only rask, I don't know what that is, to ensure that it is glow burns even more brightly. Allow it to shine for all to see. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Our final one before we get on to what we're going to do, and Rodney will explain it all, is this one here. So you're getting a bonus today, you're even getting a card reading, angel card reading. And When you inflict conditions upon your happiness, you place that joy in a future tense. Oh, that's a good one. Can you all take that out there? Right, my friend here is going to introduce what we're going to do. We're going to do the life and times of one Rodney Hallam. Rodney... A helpful hero. Here, not born with when it. Oh, hang on, we've made, messed it up already. Rodney, a helpless hooligan. A war baby wore a gas mask. Here, they're not born wearing it. Helped take all lids off grates and threw them into the woods. Aided wealth distribution. Threw mother's jewellery out of the bedroom window into the grass. A little angel living next door to the bishop. Pinched strawberries out of his garden. A very friendly child who talked to passers-by. He loved reading and reciting poetry. Wrote his first poem and short stories aged eight. Edited school magazine and won the talent competition at Western Supermare. At a golly as a golly in local production at age three and sent everyone out of step was a demon king in Panto. Won first prize as a, a Chinaman. Also I, I priest in local festivals. Forgot lines in a serious play. Here did, what's that one Rodney? I'd lived. I'd lived and turned it into a comedy responsible for Grumbleweed's panto at work. A keen walker, both alone and with clubs. Founder and secretary of Teenage Walking Club. Used to walk to work. Chased by a swarm of stinging insects. Walk up an escalator in Lewis Lewis's, tripped up and pushed two other people down as well before, falling on top of them. Walking in M A S store, hooked a lady with a handle of his brolly and pulled her along after him before he realised what was happening. Not a practical man, 
but good at breaking things, worked at Burnley Library. Broke two telephones at Burnley Library. Got married in 1971 to Barbara, who would never tell us of any of his escapades. Two children arrived in 1972 and 1974. On a honeymoon, in an attempt to get confetti out of his pyjamas, he actually threw them out of the window. <laughs> Worked as export shipping clerk for AEI. Was willing, but sometimes misguided. Exported, exported goods by hair instead of sea, uh, costing the the firm. What's that, Rodney? Firm money. Please, money. Money sent goods to Africa instead of Australia. Ship goods to Avan, Avan, Havana, Havana. I even spell that or say it during the Cuban crisis. Returned to Lancashire for a short time until they realised he was back and exported him. Settled first in Clayton, then moved to Thornton, where Gary was his next door neighbour. Later moved to Great Horton where Joseph was born in 1984. Dislikes gardening. Had a bonfire in the back garden, which became such an info that our hero ended up controlling it, wearing only his vest <laughs> and trousers, uh, even though it was pouring with rain. Enjoys eating. Oh, it's me. Uh, no to enjoy the hod sandwich, banana and fruit. Drink in between full breakfast, canteen lunch, cooked tea and a bedtime supper. Has worked at national and provincial since 1977. Indeed safe with Ron, Arthur, David and Pete, with Adrian and Ken on the floor below. Rodney's tools of trade were a long trolley, personal property, ball, pen, hammer, many pencils and several incomplete one to two questionnaires and had the best flexi hours possible. Ima What's that, Rodney? Ima imaginable. Imaginable. Loves felines. It's me again, isn't it? Almost knock himself out by hitting his head on a low lintel, is it? Whilst banging on a tin of cat food in an attempt to get the cat in at 2 a.m. Barbara amused but stayed in, stayed in bed, she did. Enjoys uncomplicated accident-free holidays. Has broken several showers, <laughs> units on different holidays. Went on coach to a holidays. The driver wouldn't stop for comfort comfort breaks and told everybody to use the field by the side of the road as a toilet <laughs> as stayed in overnight accommodation the red light district of what's that met to met Mets. 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 goes to weight training and swimming played water pool without wearing glasses he's i've got on grabbed a white ball which turned out to be a young lady wearing a white, white bathing suit. Miscellaneous likes include revolving doors and drinking beer. 
Don't go with him in a revolving door, but do go and have a drink with him tonight. Thank you. Have we finished, Rodney? Yes. Oh, hope you've enjoyed that. What's, what is that call, Rodney, what we've just done? He's going to have a look now, so be patient. What be long? <laughs> I bet he can't find it. I'm going to have to tell jokes. Knock, knock, who's there? Doctor, Doctor who? Have you got it? Do you know what it's called? Oh, we're having trouble. We're having trouble with Here time. Here we are. Uh, the life and times of one Rodney Hallam. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. We might have some more later on. He might have some. Is it poetry you're going to do, Rodney, later on or something? Yes. 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 Some poetry. Look out for it. Thank you. Say bye to him, Rodney. Bye bye. Hope you enjoyed it.